whole generations are being lost because they're living and dying without any access to or real understanding of the gospel. And I think that's a crime. So Twitter Schemes exists to bring the light of the gospel to the schemes of Scotland. The driving force behind 20 Schemes is God's heart for the poor. It's that um, God has a heart that uh, yearns for and loves and moves towards those who are the least, the last and the lost. And we see that displayed perfectly in the person of his son, who was the friend of tax collectors and sinners. Everybody always asks me, uh, what's the scheme? I mean, there's hundreds of schemes in Scotland and every single one of them looks different. It's home. It's just home for people who are in very difficult circumstances and many times trying to just survive in life. I mean, the problem is simple. There are very, very few Christians living in Scotland's poorest communities. The best mercy ministry for our poorest communities is a healthy local church. That's where they're going to come together, that's where they're going to grow, and they're going to see the gospel lived out in a context and a culture that they understand. The challenge though for people who are coming to faith in the schemes is it costs. They might have to turn their back on a huge proportion of their family and their friendship group. And that means that if the cost for them becoming Christian is high, the input and availability of a Christian community needs to be equally as high. We need gospel communities who are taking light into this deep darkness and are taking hope and putting it within reach of people as churches come. And don't just share the gospel, but share lives with people. God calls us to faithfully preach the word. When he miraculously saves, we're asked to disciple. And so people should be part of that. Find one of our plants and get intentionally involved, praying for and giving to them financially and being part of their lives. We do need pastors. We do need mature Christians who love to teach the Bible. We need them desperately. We do need the bright-eyed 20-somethings to forego their year out and maybe come and spend it with a pastor in a struggling church on a housing scheme. You could move. Why don't you move into a scheme and just be a good, solid encouragement and a church member and help disciple people? So there's various ways people can come. The point is, come.